So for this video today, I'm going to show you all my lenses, just all of them, except the one I'm shooting with. And uh, it is a Sony kit lens, uh, Sony 16 to 50 OSS f3.5 to 5.6. And uh, that's re not really a great lens, but it's a kit lens, so nothing special about it, but it's there. It's shooting me at it, it gets the job done. Uh, let me uh, introduce you to all my lenses and uh, all of my uh, products, uh, the results of me having gear acquisition syndrome, uh, which many of you will understand. It's just the feeling of owning a new piece of gear is just awesome. And you don't think about that you've just wasted uh, a couple thousand dollars and uh, just you don't really need the thing that you just bought and uh, you just love the thing. So that's the feeling. If you have any questions about those lenses, you are more than welcome to ask them in the comment section below. So this is uh, Sony uh, 70 to 200 f4, not the 2.8 version. Uh, so this is really awesome lens. I actually glad that I bought it because I really like the focal length. Uh, at 70, I can shoot uh, very nice portraits. And at 200, I can, I don't know, just uh, be a sort of creep uh, and creep around the streets and shoot, uh, I don't know, some people's faces from a very long, very far away so that uh, they can understand uh, that I'm shooting. And I can just uh, zoom in and uh, get close to just anything. So uh, it has uh, an OSS, Sony Optical Stabilization, Optical Steady Shot, uh, and uh, which really helps actually. But this lens is kind of heavy, uh, but for the focal length and for the price, I think it's really good. Because the 2.8 version of 70-200 uh, from Sony is like twice the price of this one. And it's just crazy, and f4 is just enough for me. So, uh, this is the first one. The second one. Uh, the second one. Uh, this is Sam Yang 35mm uh, T 1.5. And the T means that it's not a not a lens for photography, it's a cine lens. And it has this uh, jagged gear style of uh, controls for the aperture and for your know, focus. And uh, why I bought it, I can't really tell you. Uh, that's the mystery. But uh, it's completely manual lens, it doesn't have just anything. So in terms of uh, help to the photographer and the videographer, it can focus by itself, you just have to dial in uh, everything uh, by hand, uh, which is really nice when you're just uh, shooting videos, and uh, this is really comes in handy. Uh, I don't know what to say, the Samyang just uh, makes great lenses, but they all mostly manual, uh, but they are kind of cheaper than uh, the, more, the more better alternatives. But there you go. Why I bought it, I don't understand, but it's a cool lens. So, uh, the next one. The next one is probably one of my favorite lenses. And uh, if you just uh, uh, see, watch uh, many people on YouTube in terms of videography, they will tell you the same, that uh, Sigma 18-35 to f1.8 art lens is really one of the greatest out there. Uh, it's really good for photography and it's really nice for videography. Uh, I use it on my... this is a uh, Nikon F mount version and uh, I use it with my Sony, but I will. I have to use a uh, Metabones adapter. And with the Metabones adapter it, begin, it just becomes a totally manual lens. But it's okay because I'm shooting videos uh, with it and I will have to dial in everything by hand, uh, so it's just nothing, uh, nothing serious, uh, it's okay. And it's really well-built lens, uh, it just uh, has uh, this really nice focal distance range because uh, I am using APS-C or crop sensor cameras, which 18 to 35 gives me, I don't know, like 20, uh, 35 to 70s, I don't know, something like that. So it's really good focal range for me. So again, it's Sigma. And it is the third lens. Uh, the fourth lens is actually... Uh, I bought like two weeks ago and it's uh, Zeiss, uh, Sony Zeiss Vario Tessar or something like that, uh, FE 16 to 35 f4 with optical steady shot. So uh, this lens is a native lens for Sony and I bought it uh, specifically for my a6300 to use on my gimbal 
and uh, I must say that this lens is amazing for shooting everything on a gimbal. Uh, it has uh, like one tiny flaw, not really a flaw, but it's just some thing you need to have in mind. So when you mount it on your camera, a6300 or I believe a6500 will be the same. So uh, when you mount it on the camera, uh, this thing, the barrel of the lens, will be slightly lower than the mounting point of the camera and you will have to just uh, use maybe a quick release plate for your camera to be able to mount it correctly so it won't uh, just hit uh, the quick release plate of the gimbal but I just uh, use a quick release plate and everything is okay but that's just something you need to keep in mind uh, so uh, otherwise uh, this is really a good lens for just wide shot uh, for videos except uh, mostly videos uh, and at 16 you can shoot really wide uh, wide shots and uh, at 35 you can just get a tiny bit closer so it will be just sort of like a 50 maybe 55 or something because again I'm using crop sensor cameras and uh, the thing is that it kind of extends when I zoom in and out it's just I'm a bit paranoid because uh, I, I'm worried that uh, dust can get inside and that's just the fear of mine but again awesome lens so this is the fourth lens uh, again uh, the one of the Samyang lenses here so uh, this is uh, Samyang 85 millimeters f 1.4 so this is a lens for photography and this is an f mount for my Nikon uh, again totally manual lens you can just do anything with it uh, Again, you have to, you'll have to just uh, dial in aperture manually, you'll have to dial in focus manually, just everything you just need to have to, to do manually. But uh, it's really well made and the build quality is amazing for the price, because uh, it's like not the bokeh king of like a Canon, but it produces really nice round bokeh. Uh, so for the price, like maybe two times cheaper than Canon 85 or something like that, uh, it's really an amazing lens. I bought it just because I wanted to. So, this is the fifth lens. So, this lens, and another one, is from Nikon. This is a native Nikon lens, again for Nikon F mount, and this is 24 to 85, 3.5 to 4.5G. So, it's uh, again a uh, standard, mostly standard lens, which I actually don't use anymore. I bought it. Uh, not I bought it used and it kind of uh, it has all sorts of like dust particles and again because it uh, like extends uh, this is what happens it has just a ton of dust inside it, inside of it and I'm just scared that this will happen to my Zeiss lens but again that was a decent lens for my Nikon and for photography so this is the kit lens, uh, 18 to 55 f 3.5 to 5.6 G2, second version. Uh, so nothing special about this lens, just eh, plasticky, mm, kind of will be a good choice for a beginner, but nothing special. And the last but not least, this is again a Nikon lens, which I'm really glad that I can use on my Sony with the Metamodes adapter. This is the Nifty 50 actually and uh, this is 50 millimeters f 1.8D uh, which again totally manual lens even on... Uh, yeah, no, I believe my Nikon can focus it uh, because my Nikon has the motor in it uh, but on Sony I will have to just... I have to dial in everything manually and uh, but it's really a great lens because it's a 50 millimeter focal length which is total universal for videos, for photography, for just everything. And it's tiny. Look at it. It's just, just let me remove this cap. It's tiny. So I can just uh, toss it so just in any bag and I will be good to go. Uh, but it's, again, it's kind of plasticky because it's uh, not the premium version of the 50 uh, from Nikon. And uh, so and, uh, this is the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eighth lens. So this is the eighth lenses, nine actually with the kit lens from Sony, nine lens that I have and some of those lenses actually uh, sort of cross over so uh, one of them has uh, 16 to something, uh, Sigma has 18 to 35 so they are kind of doubles in terms of focal length 
and uh, I think I will have to sell some of those lenses, uh, maybe some of the old ones, maybe some of the new ones, I don't know, but uh, this is the result of me having a gear acquisition syndrome. Uh, when you have like nine lenses and you just use like two of them. So, uh, but I just wanted to let you know that uh, you can ask me any questions down in the comment below, in the comment section below about just any of those lenses because uh, I've been using them for a long time, except for the new ones. Uh, and uh, maybe I will be of any help to you. So please don't hesitate to uh, ask anything in the comment section below. And I believe uh, that was it for my video today. Thank you again for joining me and uh, I will see you in my next video.